surprising uh, people involved in government, I, I think that is something the court can take into consideration, not to have a joke effect on that. I'll spit on it, Your Honor. Thank you. Mr. DeCastro, please stand. I hereby sentence you to 90 days in the Clark County Detention Center on count one, 90 days in the Clark County Detention Center on count two, to run consecutive for a total of 180 days in custody. Thank you. Sentence suspended or? Oh, no. We're going to start right now. guys doing today i'm sure you know why i'm making this video i'm pretty sure you know why um i've seen a lot of videos so far about this current situation um we've been following the whole chili thing for a while i honestly haven't been making videos about him for a while and usually when i do it's about something stupid or i every once in a while i'll post that short where he says you know i hope your children get bone cancer now we started this journey, this little journey, when this little leprechaun decided to hop on the internet and pretend to be a law scholar. Uh, for a long time, we watched his antics as well as other people. You've seen all the uh, copycats or, I don't know, maybe Chili was a copycat originally. I, I don't know. I don't know how long the whole frauditing thing's been going around. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't. obviously don't, and I don't really care for it. Like, it's stupid and cringe um and i'm sorry if you enjoy that stuff like it's to me it's cringe it's really cringy and this is coming from somebody that's super cringe you'll probably see that in this video um chili's you know claim to fame basically anytime he gets arrested or talks to people of authority his thing he'll say is i go around the whole country suing police i mean pigs uh the justice system's terrible I know everything about the Constitution. I'm an alpha male, uh, lick my balls, and all that stuff. Um, it's been pretty funny. It's been pretty funny because, you know, we've watched him several times get arrested. Um, especially the funny thing is whenever he originally says things like, it will take five of you to hold me down to put cuffs on me. And it's every, every time it's only been one. It's only been one person that puts cuffs on him, and we've seen this numerous times. Um, because he's an alpha male, um, and he likes to say, play himself up like he's a 30 year, uh, MMA fighter and he's got a gun and all that stuff. But I guess he had his court date. I think it was yesterday. Uh, it was for Nevada and this is for the case where he got arrested for, uh, pretty much get interfering with a traffic stop, traffic stop, I believe. And he was told he could film, but he had to stand back. Then he did his chilly thing, and he got arrested. Uh, he actually hit a cop and all that stuff. Hey, buddy. Um, and it was pretty funny. We watched that. We watched this months ago, so it was hilarious. Um, anyway, since then, he's been trying to sue these people, or he's had court dates where you know, he has to fight with a lawyer because he has, has to have a lawyer, a constitutional law scholar that you know, knows so much more about the law than lawyers, and he's a lawyer. Um, <laughs> it's always been funny, right? 
like you hear him say things like, oh, I'm a constitutional professor, a law scholar, and yet he can't defend himself in court. And we've seen his court video so many times. Every case that he's had, he fails. Now, he does go around the country filing federal lawsuits. He does do that. That is a thing. Um, he's actually caused problems with some of his victims, Deborah Rogers, uh, where also when he hurt Tina, Tina Slay. Now, I know what's going on. I know what's going to happen. Chili's fans are going to get up in here and go, oh, you don't know nothing, you fat boy. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you should, if you support Chili De Castro of the Delete Laws, let, let's see this. Um, you're a fan and you support, you help support domestic violence. So you're okay with a man beating on a woman. You're okay with that. That's fine. That's fine and dandy. You're okay with that. That's one thing. You're also fine with children getting bone cancer. You support that, by the way. You do support that. Just just remember, when you're watching this and you decide to make a comment and try to take up for your fraud, your fraud, um, just remember what you're supporting. You're supporting being a racist, which he got kicked off of TikTok for being a racist. He's also seen these in a lot of these videos where he goes up to black people and say, you're black, so you have to think this way. That is racism. So you support racism. You support domestic violence. You support children having bone cancer. You also support somebody that says he has cancer to get sympathy and money when he doesn't. And we have proof of that. So before you start bitching and whining and say, oh, Chili's the greatest. He didn't deserve it. Yeah, he fucking did. So he's getting 180 days. 180 days in the slammer. Um, <laughs> that's pretty funny because, uh, as you've seen uh, prior, like I, I, I'm showing you guys this at the intro. Um, you, you've seen it. It was pretty satisfying. I haven't really been keeping up with him for a long time, but as soon as I seen this, uh, you know, I started saw, seeing like all the floodgates opening and all these people was like, look at this. Oh my God, it finally happened. Um, it's hilarious. It's hilarious. Like uh, even looking into his comment section, it's flooded, flooded with people like, ha ha ha. Did you have your supporters or like, ah, that's that you know it's a travesty to justice he he's he's our savior he's our great savior he didn't save himself here <laughs> the constitutional law scholar or professor uh he's gonna be doing some scholaring in jail like and that's really cringe it's really cringe it, it's it's pretty funny it was pathetic uh you guys seen it he tried to do a grandstand uh, he called, um, I think he called a security officer a pig, I believe, or it was a cop, uh, in the courtroom and thumbs upping like everything the judge said. Now, from what I understood, um, he could have got out of this for if he paid a fine, I think $500, give or take. I might be wrong. I might be wrong on those details. Um, it's just I don't really keep up with him. So because he's not in the grand scheme of things, he's really nothing. But it is funny to see this happen because it's one of those things of like, we told you it's going to happen. It's just a matter of time and it happened. And I believe if he would have paid $500 to fine, I think he would have not had to deal with this. But instead, <laughs> he uh, decided to fight it with a lawyer. Gets 90 days, then another 90 days. Uh, the judge was not having it. Now, we watched two cases where one of the judges wasn't having shit at the beginning and basically talked to him like a child and say, hey, you know, I don't care pretty much. And she was super nice about it. And the second judge was like, oh, you're you're fucked. You, you come in my courthouse. You act like this. Yeah, you're you're going to jail, dude. And the funny thing was, he was like, is it not a suspended sentence? I was like, no, it's starting today, immediately, right now. Now. <laughs> the funny, the icing, the icing on the cake. Chili does not like women. Um, I don't know if he's gay. I don't care. Uh, he just doesn't like women. He does like to beat on women. He does like that. That's his favorite thing. He loves to beat on women. He doesn't like women. He thinks they're weak. He wants to smack them, punch them, kick them, hurt them, probably kill them if he had a chance. Uh, Dick Back Patrol, Dick Back Patrol actually came out with a video with 
a past um uh, what what was it a restraining order uh, a report um it was pretty pretty telling and you know if you listen to it you you know that's that's definitely chilly um <laughs> You know, I'm not going to go too deep into this. I probably won't make another video about it, but um, I think it's funny. Uh, Chad Gu came out with a video, uh, Legicator. It's pretty hilarious. Um, the only one I haven't seen yet, I figured like Irish Demon and uh, Mass Hole would probably make a video about it, but they haven't yet. So I, I would assume that's probably coming down the road. Um but if you're you're for watching this, just remember who cares, who really cares. It's funny, it's hilarious. I, I kinda hope this happens to a lot of these fraud editors. Um I just hope this happens a lot because these people deserve it. They wanna act like fools and uh harass cops or public officials or you know, people that are just doing their jobs that happens to be working for the government. Uh, to you know, feed their families. They, you know, I want to record my rights, my freedoms are being trampled upon. Get out! <laughs> get out! Really, get out! You know, there's one thing hating the cops, and I know there's a lot of people that don't like cops. That's understandable, I guess. I understand. Uh, personally, I have not had issues with the cops, so I can't really say that I hate cops. Um, you do see a lot of like bad things with the justice system uh, and i'm not going to discount anybody that's had problems with that because i do know some people that's actually had problems with the justice system um and you know i kind of feel like they was kind of picked on in this thing um but that's not everything it's not everyone it's not every cop um i'm trying to be a new neutral person here i have cop friends um i wouldn't say i'm a bootlicker i do support the police but i'm not like uh, blue line supremacist or whatever. Like, I don't walk around with the blue line or anything like that. Uh, and am I offended by the blue line? No, not at all. No, no, wave that thing. Do it. Do it. Just piss all these fraud editors off. Just keep on waving the blue line. But, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Definitely appreciate it. Uh, there's going to be better videos than this. Uh, I just got home, long week so far, and I wanted to get something out. Um, but remember, like I said, if you get on here and you're Chili's fans, just remember, remember what I said. If you take up for this guy, you're a fan of domestic violence, you're a fan of children with bone cancer, and you're a fan of, what else? What else? Racism! That's right, racism. Um, in my opinion, though, by the way, I can't prove that. <laughs> so good, so good. Um, enjoy the video, by the way. I want to put some extra funny stuff in here, so maybe you'll enjoy that. Love you guys, and I'll see you soon.